Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com and today I just want to give you a quick video on how to create a perfectly 90 degree corner. Uh, we have a, a deck build we're doing here today and uh, it was a good chance to shoot this quick little video. Uh, it kind of gives you a contractor inside secret or tip on how to do this. So, so basically anytime you're trying to create a, a perpendicular uh, line or uh, 90 degree corner to anything else what you want to do is uh, you've got one starting line to start with so I've got this line here I snapped the line it's straight right now how do I know that this line here is perpendicular or, or exactly 90 degrees from that one if I want it to be well there's a pretty easy method to do that I'm gonna just step ahead of this original line I did just to actually show you what I'm what I'm gonna do and uh, what you want to do is uh, use a method that's called th the 345 method. So what it is, is we start with this original line that we, we know we have, and we want to create something that's 90 degrees from it. So right here on the corner, I'm just putting my level flush right on that line. I measured down the level and I marked three feet right here. I think you can see it on that tape. Okay, so this leg is three feet. Now I want to measure across that back line that we already snapped. I want to measure four feet and the di diagonal when I'm square should be five feet from this three foot mark to the four foot mark. And you can use any combination if you want to, if you've got a big area you're doing and you can multiply these numbers uh, to make it a, a larger, that's the better way to do it. It'll be more accurate. So if you can get nine feet this way and uh, 12 feet that way, and then you have 15 the other way, you know, you just multiply the, those, the three, four, five by the same number each time. Okay, so I'm just going to come over here from the level, my starting mark, mark. I'm going to come along this, uh, this chalk line here and I'm going to mark four feet. I'm just using a level because I'm by myself. If you had two people, you could kind of do this with two, two or three tape measures. So I've got my four foot distance here, my three foot distance over there. Now I'm just going to send my, stretch my tape out to five feet right here where it intersects on the, the four foot mark. And I'm kind of just generally sending it towards the level, kind of aiming for that three foot mark. And you can see that right now, and I'm gonna over exaggerate, if I was to mark the line there, it's way over 90 degrees because there's, there's space here. I've got to bring this, this line in some. So I need to create a pivot point back here because we don't want that to move. And I want to bring this in and adjust this tape measure until all these marks intercept. So right there is pretty good. I'm gonna just see if this moved. This end's still right on five. So really in theory, this corner right here should be square and you're, you're not gonna be able to see it from that, that uh, angle with the camera. Yeah, that's, that's good. Once I put a square in here, it's uh, nice and square in the corner. So anyways, that's just one quick method of creating uh, trying to create a perpendicular line or a 90 degree corner. So anyways, uh, like I said, this is houseimprovements.com and uh, we appreciate you watching. We do have many other videos on uh, our YouTube channel. That you can uh, go and check out and subscribe if you like. And you can also find a link to that channel right here on the bottom of the screen or from our website at house-improvements.com. Thanks for watching.